All right, I'm gonna give you guys an update on this little side project I've been working on for the hackathon that is sponsored by Convex that hopefully you guys have heard, in it, heard about by now. So I've been working on this like color by numbers thing. And I think I demoed before that you can like use AI to generate these little, these images. Uh, I have some aliens up here. I got like planets, I got a duck. And one thing I'm trying to do is when you click on one of these images, it basically creates your own personalized board and room. All right, let's just go ahead and click on this alien over here. It looks pretty cool. And what this does is behind the scenes is basically creating a new data structure to track every single pixel if you have painted it or not. Okay, again, I'm doing like a paint by numbers application and overall there'll be like a side color panel where you can select the different colors. I do plan to add little numbers inside these squares so that you can actually color all the ones, color all the twos. But the cool thing I wanna demo is that this is actually multiplayer, right? This is collaborative. We have on the left, someone is connected to this room and they can start drawing on the alien. And notice on the right, the alien's face is starting to turn green as player one is coloring the board, okay? Same thing over here. If I were to go over here and start coloring like the eyes or something, notice that it's updating on the left. So that is the thing that I've kind of added on this project. The idea is that you create this room, you can get this link and you can share it to a friend or someone else. And then you both can come in and start coloring this board at the same time, okay? Also, let me show you something cool. If I go to my collection, everything that you do on this painting will actually be updated live in the collection. So let's just scroll down. And as someone's coloring in this alien, notice that on the left, it's actually updating the alien live. Okay, so you can actually see people or friends updating your alien or updating your image um, live on this collection page. Now behind the scenes, I'm not doing the most efficient thing. All of these are divs. If I were to hover over these, these are a bunch of really small divs. And if you know React, React is pretty garbage at like handling a bunch of DOM element updates. So we have a bunch of images split up into small little divs. At some point, this page is going to have too much data and this probably will not work. I think behind the scenes, what I might do is after you've painted X amount of pixels, I might just convert this to a canvas, take a screenshot, make it a PNG and update that so that you're getting snapshots of your current state of your board uh, instead of doing all this live updating stuff. But I did think that was pretty cool that React is actually able to handle like a couple thousand of these little divs. So like anyone at any time could be like editing, I don't know, this duck. And that's actually gonna show up live on the left. Same thing with the alien. Okay, so like your, your collection is just updating live. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, again, I'll probably refactor this to do a different approach, but. That's what I got so far, right? I'm basically just building a little side project as obviously I can't compete in my own hackathon, but I did want to work on something and just kind of share that with you all just to inspire other hackathon contestants in case they're interested in competing and can't really think of good ideas. I will finish up saying that this hackathon has 10 days and 22 hours remaining. So if you are interested in joining, um, in fact, depending on when I publish this video, it might be nine days. But if you are interested in joining, go through here, read through the uh, the categories. You, there is a there is a cash prize for this hackathon. Go ahead and log in, register. So currently, we have uh, 176 participants. That's pretty crazy. I hope most of these people do submit a submission at the end of these two weeks. But um, yeah, that's what we got so far. So definitely stay tuned for when this thing finishes. I'll go through and I'll review the submissions and we'll start awarding prizes. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good day and happy coding.